Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to prepare a site plan in Archicad step by step. My name is Christian from Architect CIA. Let's begin. Alright, I'll start by creating a new layer combination for the site plan. Now, this will help us keep everything related to the site neatly organized in its own dedicated layer combination. And it will also make it easier to manage as we design. So I'll go to Documents, Layers, Layer Model View. Or I'll use the shortcut key Ctrl L to open the layers. Next, under layer combinations, I'll click new to create a new combination and I'll name this site plan. I'll click OK. Next, I'll create a few new layers and assign them to the layer combination I just set up. Now, if you are not familiar with how layers and layer combinations work, don't worry. I have a tutorial that explains everything in detail. Just click the video that popped up at the top right corner of your screen. And I'll also leave a link in the description for you to check it out. So under layers, I'll click new and I'll name the first layer sites building. I'll click OK. I'll click new again. And this layer, I'm going to name it sites drafting. I'll click OK and OK again. Next, I'll use the fill tool to map out the area of the building. Then I'll hide any layers that are not needed for the site plan and keep only the relevant ones visible. So I'll go under Documents and I'll double click on the Fill tool to open the settings. I'll leave the outline type as solid. The outline pen, I'm going to leave it as pen 7. I'll change the fill category to Drafting Fill. I'll change the fill background pen to 87. And I'll change the fill pattern to 25% or 50%. I'll click OK. Next, I'll just go in and draw the fill over the building area. And while I'm doing that, guys, if you find this tutorial helpful, please do me a little favor and just like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notification so that anytime I post a video, you will be notified. It will do me a world of good. Thank you. Next, I'll select the field I just drew. And I'll go up here and change the layer type to site building, one of the layers I created. I'll also select all the lines I drew for the sites. And I'll assign them to the other layer, sites drafting. Next, I'll open layers again. And I'll make sure the site plan layer combination is selected. In under layers, I'll click select all to select all the layers. I'll click on this eye to hide all the layers. Then I'll click the select all. Next, I'll look for all the layers I need for the site plan and toggle their visibility by clicking on the eye icon. So I'll scroll down and look for site landscape. I'll make it visible. And I'll also make site building and drafting visible. I'll also make the structural grid visible. And I'll go and look for dimensioning sites and I also make that visible. Now under layer combinations, making sure that the site plan is still selected, I'll click on updates to update the site plan layer combination. Then I'll click OK. All right, the site plan is beginning to take shape. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to model the site layout. Now I prefer to model the site to just drafting it out using like fields and lines and all of that. The reason being that for whatever reason, if I need to change something in my site plan, I'll have to, you know, model the sites and go back and change the drafting I did on my site plan. But with modeling the sites, whatever changes I make in the model will automatically be reflected in the site plan. So that's why I prefer modeling the sites instead of just drafting it out using like fields and lines and all of that. So I'll go to design and under design, I'm going to double click on the mesh. I'll just select the mesh tool and I'll go to surfaces and under surfaces, I'll make sure the top surface is grass green, just to represent grass. And I'll hold the space bar and when the area is selected, I'll click to place the mesh in that area. Then I'll select the mesh and I'll go to floor plan and section and I'll check cover fill. All right, I'm going to change the cover fill to solid fill. I'll use solid fill 25 and the cover fill background pen. I'm going to choose a light green just to represent grass. I'll do the same thing for the road and the driveway. I'll select the mesh again and under surfaces. I'll make the top surface 
this time I'm going to look for pavement, asphalt, lights. I hold the space bar again and click on the road to place it there. I'll click on the driveway and place it there. Let me just go in and adjust this. All right, I'll select the both of them. I'll go to floor plan and section. I'll check cover fill and I'll change the cover fill again to 25%. And the cover fill background pane, I'm going to look for a very light gray for the road. All right, let me see what it looks like in 3D. All right, so I'm just going to select all the meshes and bring them down to minus 450. Next, I'm going to go ahead and just add the curb to the side of the road and the grass. So I'll go back to ground floor. I'll select the beam tool and I'll change the layer to, I'll just use site landscape general. I'll go and change, I'll change the size of my curb to 150 by 100. I'll go to surfaces and I'm going to use Stucco White. Fine, that's the one I'm going to use. Yeah, I'll change the reference axis. And I'll hold the space bar and just take the cursor to the edge of the line like this. And when it's highlighted, I'm going to click. Now let me just place it there. I'm going to click to place. And I'll click to place them on the side of the road. I'm going to select everything I just placed. I'll go to floor plan and section and show on home stories i'm going to change it to home story only another elevation to home story i'm also going to make it minus 450. let me see what it looks like in 3d all right this is nice i like it all right i'll go back to floor plan now with all this done i can now go ahead and add all the other information that would be necessary for a site plan you know i can add dimensions i can add text and all of that all the while making sure that they are placed under a visible layer Alright, I'm going to select my dimension tool and I'll just go in and start placing dimensions. Now you see this notification that popped up, it's just trying to tell us that our dimensioning tool is placed under a hidden layer. So what I'm going to do is to place it under a visible layer. So I'll click on choose layer and under layers in our dimension settings, I'm going to look for dimensioning site. Yeah, I'm going to click on that to place it and I'll click OK. Now I'll just go in and place this dimension here. Yeah, it's a little too small, so I can just click on the dimension. I'm going to change the size to, say, 5. Alright, now I'm just going to go in and place a few more dimensions. I'm going to add some text. So I'll click on the text tool and I'll just place it here for the access road. Again, I'll have to choose a layer for my text, so I'll do it directly from here. I'll click on layers and I'll look for sites drafting. I'll place it under that visible layer and I'll place my text and call this access road. I'll click on it and I'll open the text settings. I'll turn off text wrap and I'll increase the font size to maybe 5. I'll press the anchor pointer center. I'll click OK. Maybe I should just make it 10. Alright, this is better. I'm going to add dimensions to the sites. So at this point, what I'm just trying to do is to add all the information that you may need for a site plan. Now, in your own private design, you can go ahead and add all the information you're going to need for the site plan. All the while, like I said before, making sure that you place them under a layer that is visible. And then that layer, you also have to make sure that that layer is added to the site plan layer combination. Next, I'm going to go to design. And I'm going to open the object tool and I'll look for visualization, site improvements, park and streets. Another park and street, I'm just going to look for parking place. Go to preview and positioning and I'll just change the orientation. Pick an anchor point and I'll click OK. Next, I'm going to just place it in the parking space. Again, I have to choose a layer for it. So I'll go to choose layer. And I'll make this site landscape general. All right, I'll click OK and I'll just place it. I'll select the objects and on that story level, I'll make it minus 450. Let me see what it looks like in 3D. All right, yeah, this is good. All right, back to floor plan. I think I'm going to hide the grid lines just to make the site plan a bit more visible. So I'll do Ctrl L to open layer settings again and I'll look for structural grid. Now make sure site plan layer combination is selected and I'll just click on this eye 
we make it hidden and i'll click on updates and i'll click ok now our grid lines are hidden and the side plan looks a lot clearer all right moving on i'm going to select the fill i placed over the building and i'm going to open the settings and i'll check this show area text and click ok this is going to show us the area of the building i'm going to select it and maybe i'll just increase the font size to maybe seven okay now you see the area is showing in millimeters but i want it to show in meters so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to options project preferences dimensions next i'm going to make sure the area dimension is selected i'll change the unit from square millimeters to square meters and the decimals i'll just make it two decimal places next to store it i'll click on store as and i'll just name it architect ci to store it as custom i'll click ok i'll click ok again now the area has been changed from millimeters to meters all right finally and most importantly i'm going to save this view in the view map so i'll go up here to the navigator and i'll click and just show navigator and i'll drag it up here i'm going to click on view map to open it i'll click on floor plan folder make sure it's selected now go down and click on save current view now when this box open under name i'm going to make sure custom is selected and i'll change this to site plan in general under layer combinations i'll make sure site plan is selected the one i created and under 2d 3d documents under dimensioning i'm going to choose architect CIA, the dimensioning i saved earlier and i'll click create all right our site plan is saved now we can switch between ground floor and site plan now when i open the ground floor i can see that some of the elements i don't want to see in my ground floor are selected meaning they are turned on in the ground floor layer combination so i'll open the layer combination and the ground floor is saved under drafting so i'm going to look for the layers i don't want to see like the size dimensioning i don't want to see it and all the other site elements i don't want to see on the ground floor so i'll select them i'm just going to hide them and I'll click on updates. Click OK. All right, now the ground floor is clear. And you can see that we can toggle between site plan and ground floor all in the same page. Now you can go ahead and add as much details as you want to the site plan, whether it's you know, landscaping, property boundaries, or additional annotations. Now just make sure everything is saved under a visible layer combination for you know easy management. And guys, if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. Also, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or any topic you'd like me to cover. That's it for this video, guys. See you in the next one.